sorry, Genesis, second chapter. 19 through 20. So the Lord God formed out of the ground every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called the living creature, that was his name. And the man gave names to all the living livestock and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. All right, all right. We're going to just talk for a little bit today from the subject, whatever you call it. Uh -oh. Amen. Uh, Come on. Amen. Whatever yeah, yeah, you yeah. call it. So the Lord God, Father, use me to your glory today. Thank you, Daddy. God, use me to your glory today. So the Lord God formed out of the ground every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called a living creature, that was its name. And the man gave names to all the livestock and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. Hmm, whatever you call it. I don't know if you tuned in Friday night to the weekly video broadcast on RT, but I taught a little bit um, on this verse in between expounding on the two other verses that surround it, but I felt compelled today to actually teach it here at the harvest. All right, everybody all right, all right with that? Yes, ma'am. When you read the Bible, if you read it too fast, just to give you a tip today, you will miss powerful revelation mm -hmm. that God is waiting to reveal to you. For the preachers and the teachers that are in here today, that's why it's important to forget what you think you know. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When rereading a passage of scripture so God can give you an even deeper revelation. Amen. For those who may not know or are those who read through or read through these verses so fast that it didn't register, mm. Did you know that man assisted God during the week of creation? Come on. Mm -hmm. See, see, we always focus on what Elohim did during that week. Yeah. When we talk about and preach about God speaking stuff into existence because that's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about Jesus being there as the word coming out of God's mouth, wow. and that's pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we talk about how the Holy Spirit is hovering over the water and waiting for God's instruction, and that's also pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But if you read too fast, Somebody say, if you read too fast, if you think there's nothing else here to focus on, you'll miss the part man played in the days of creation. Mm, Y'all better stay with me today. You'll miss what God allowed man to do. Mm, Y'all better come on. Y'all with me today? Y'all, y'all, if it's too warm. Uh, or trusty and he'll turn the air for you. But, but, and, 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 and you don't hear much talk about it, do you? You don't hear many sermons preached about it. Most people read right through this chapter and leave the chapter not even thinking another thought about it. But it's important. It's important to know did you know, again, that God allowed man to assist him mm. this week? Come on. Mm. God allowed Adam to name <laughs> all the animals. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. No matter what God placed in front of him, mm. Adam attached a name to it. Yes. Right. God would place an animal in front of Adam and say, name it. Once he named it, God would place another animal in front of him and say, name it. Whatever you call it, Adam, whatever you say its name's going to be, that's it. No questions asked. The name you give it is the name it is. Y'all better stay with me today. Y'all better stay with me today. That's how the animals got their names. That's why a pig is called a pig. That's why a cow is called that's why a duck is called a duck. That's why a domesticated dog is called a dog. Because Adam named him. Amen. 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 Y'all better stay 
Y'all better come on with me. Amen. The creator of everything. Mm -hmm. The one who had the power to think it, speak it, and then immediately see it, allow man to assist him. Y'all yeah. better get on this bus today. Y'all yeah. better come on. See, see, in Genesis 1.26, if y'all remember correctly, I'm going to bring it to your memory. God told Jesus and the Holy Spirit, what did he say? Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Not physical, but a spiritual personality and moral likeness. And let them complete, have complete, have complete, have complete. Come on. Y'all better come on with me. Somebody say have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, and over the entire earth. Y'all better get on it. Come on. And over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth. Somebody better tell somebody, I have authority. I have authority. Mm -hmm. So God not only allowed Adam to assist him with the naming of the animals, but he gave him authority over what he named, and you know what, as well as over the entire earth. All right? Adam was the first leader, y'all. Mm -hmm. right, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adam was the first leader. And if you will, I believe that when God asked him to name the animals, it was leadership training 101. I'm going to tell you why I say that. God was trying to teach Adam something. This is what he was trying to teach him. And I'm going to sit down. But I'm going to just give you something to, to just, just you know, have your forks be able to dig into today. The position I have given you is important. Y'all better. Amen. The position you have yes. in the body of Christ, no matter what it is, yes. if you are a door holder, yes. if you are a usher, if you yes. sing in the choir, yes. if you preach, if you teach, yes. no matter what it is, yes. it's important. Amen. 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 All right. So you need to tell somebody, I am important to the kingdom. I am important, important to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't forget that. Amen. Don't for see what we do is we begin to compare ourselves. Uh -huh. Yes. If you are a doorkeeper, you turn around comparing yourself to whoever is in the choir or whoever's behind the pulpit. But if the anointing is not on you to yes. do what they do, you just gonna enter and make a mess. Amen. Amen. So appreciate where God has you right now. Yes. Appreciate the anointing that's on you right now, but do something with the anointing. Don't just let the anointing be on you and you sit down and don't do nothing with it. He's telling Adam, don't forget, I placed you. Hmm. Come on. He's telling Adam, I placed you. You're in the garden, but I placed you. Mm -hmm. You might think you got here on your own. I know you woke up and found yourself here in the garden. <laughs> but it's because I gently placed you here. Yes. You didn't just walk up yes. in here, Adam. No. Yes. You see, your education alone didn't get you that job. Y'all better come on. Amen. Your looks and how you carry yourself didn't get you where you at right now. Mm -hmm. Your money didn't get you what you got right now. Amen. It's because I, Jehovah God, it's because I placed you there. Amen. It's because of my grace and mercy yes. that you are where you are today. Amen. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Don't forget. Amen. I physically placed you there in the leadership position. Amen. That's what God is saying today. Whether you are a husband, whether you are a leader at work, whether you are leading the church, God says, I placed Amen. you there. Amen. And God says, and just as easily as I put you here. Well, come on. Come on. Come on now. Move that. You can just as easily cause yourself okay. yes. Watch out. Cause to be removed yes. 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 if you don't understand what is expected of you. Well, Come on now. Come on. And Adam, I've already given you my expectations. Mm -hmm. Keep me first. Come on. 
That's why I'm so glad God instructed us to do a leadership training here at the Harvest because if you don't understand what's expected of you as a leader, you can make mistakes that not only affect your life, but everyone you lead. Yes. Yes. By not sticking to the first and first and most important rule for a Christian leader, Adam led all of us into sin. Amen. 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 He disobeyed God. Yes, he, he listened to his flesh. Mm -hmm. He allowed himself to be enticed well, yes. to sin against God. Mm -hmm. I believe God was trying to teach Adam that leadership is not something you take lightly. Mm -hmm. There is a great responsibility Amen. being given to you. So Adam, to help you understand, I'm going to give you an inventory of what I'm putting you in charge of. And I'm not going to send you a soft copy or a hard copy, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God says, no, I'm going to bring every living thing you are responsible for leading right before your eyes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to show you each animal one at a time so you can see them with your own eyes. I want you to see the great responsibility I am entrusting you with. Yes. Yes. And for those of you who have kids, when your kids were younger, did you ever just go in their rooms at night or in the morning when they were still sleeping, just look at them? Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. And it hits you as you're standing there looking at them, the great responsibility uh -huh. you have Amen. been given. Yes. Yes. Or when you found out you were pregnant, mm. it didn't hit you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, baby girl. Yeah. It didn't hit you until you saw that baby face to face. Yeah. It didn't really hit you until you were holding them in your arms and you were a mama. You were a daddy. Yes. You were going to be leading somebody. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, what about when you decided to get married? Huh? Come oh, on. All right, Sister Heather. It, it doesn't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hit you that you're leading until after you say those vows. Yes. Well, when I look at them, they're not my girlfriend. They're not my boyfriend or my fiance anymore. No, I'm a wife. I'm a husband. We just stepped into a covenant before God. Man. This thing is real. real. Yes, wow. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Lord knows when God called Pastor D and I to pastor, it became real. Yes. Mm -hmm. When people started joining the church. Mm -hmm. When it was just us and the girls. It wasn't as scary. But when God started sending folk yes. and he had us responsible for folk, it became scary. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Being able to see what you lead makes it real. Yes. Yes. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. The next thing I believe, Adam, God was trying to tell Adam, and I'm almost through, is the words that come out your mouth yes. can bring about change. Yes. 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 Mm. As a leader, the words you speak are powerful. Yes. They can change a person's entire life. Amen. Whatever you call a thing may be the very thing it turns out to be. Mm -hmm. God said, Adam, everything living, every living thing that I'm putting you over, I'm going to bring it to you so you can name, name it. it. Yes. Amen. You speak its name. So they can hear what it is. Y'all better come on with me. You speak its name so it can hear what it is. Because it doesn't know what it is until you tell it what it is. You tell it what it's going to be called. Come on. You tell it what it's going to be called. You tell it what it should answer to. Yes, Y'all better catch that one. Yes. You tell it what it should answer to. Yes. And whatever you assign it, uh -huh. that's what it's going to be called. 
Yes. God, I thank you. All right. I, this is right now. I'm gonna tell y'all something. That's why we've got so many young ladies. Come on. Giving away their bodies, and I'm going there. Come on now. Giving away their bodies Come on. to men who don't respect them. Yeah. Who will sleep with them but won't marry them. Amen. Who will call them out of their name Come on, and they answer to it. Amen. Allowing themselves to be called a B because they have no idea what name they were assigned in the beginning of time. That's why so many of our young men are traveling the path they're on yes. because they are responding Tell to it. the wrong name. Yes. Amen. Yes. God, I thank you. But when you find out mm. what your real, real name, name is, yes. 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 Woo, Jesus, you won't answer to anything yes. other than what you know God has called you. Yes. Yes. God, I yes. thank you, Lord. Have mercy. Thank you, Lord. That's not what, what my heavenly father named me. Yes. Sidebar, sidebar. <laughs> Pray and ask God yes. what you should name your child. Yes. yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Put some thought into <laughs> it. On, yeah. Please. Make sure it means something. Yeah. Make sure there's a story behind it. Because names in the Bible meant something. Yes. yes. They didn't just throw some letters on a table like you playing Scrabble and say, Wow, wow. Amen. Amen. God, I thank you. No, their names meant something. Yes. There was a story behind it. So when your child gets older, you can say, Baby, that's why we named you what we named you. Uh -huh. That's one of the things I love about Cherie. She named her children names that now tell a story. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Y'all better stay with me today. God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. And don't just name them at birth. Name them every day of their lives. Amen. When you don't take time to name your children, somebody else will. Yes. And they will answer to the wrong name. Yes. Deliver the word. Mm -mm. Yes. By naming them, you're telling them what they should be called. Yes. You're telling them what they should answer to. Yes. And if you aren't calling me by my name, I ain't answering. Ain't answering. Come Come on. On. Come on. The names Adam gave couldn't be changed. <laughs> but thank God. Amen. He allows us to change ours. Yes. God, I thank you. Maybe you weren't assigned the right name at birth, or you weren't called the right names growing up, but let me give someone, somebody, some good news today. Come on. You can have a name change. Come yeah, on. Y'all right, mm, better come on with me. Yes. Begin to let God's word name you. Yes. Pastor D, can you come in for a second? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Amen. Hello. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Hello. I am the head and not the tail. All right. Yeah. Come on. Hello. I am blessed and highly favored. Y'all get me? Yeah. Hello. I am above and not beneath. Y'all yes. get me? Yes. Hello. I am rich and my daddy owns everything. Yes. Hello. I am empowered to prosper. Yeah. Find out what God says. Hello, I'm royalty. Yes. And I'm a king's king. Y'all yes. better tell somebody to say it. Y'all better tell somebody. So you know what? You better act like you know. I am royalty. Hello. I'm a king's king. Uh-huh. And it takes some getting used to, y'all. It takes some getting used to. Because sometimes you might find yourself answering the names people use.
called him, we were, we were apart from each other. I heard her say, Scooter! In the store. Scooter didn't answer. Scooter! Scooter didn't answer. As soon as she said, David. Yeah. He said, yeah, ma. That's right. Man, he let me call him Scooter at home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But when you get your name changed, yeah. Yeah. you won't allow anybody to call you that anymore, right? So once you finally adopt your new name, everybody around you will eventually learn your new name and identity. Amen. You'll even begin to see different types of people start drawing close to you. Right. The kind of people that used to draw close to school are the same kind of people that draw yes. close to David. Yes. Amen. All right? Amen. The other thing, and this is the last thing that God was trying to teach Adam, is you have authority. Yes. Yes. As a leader, Adam, you have authority. We, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit have given it to you. Mm -hmm. You are a spokesman in the earth. Mm. You represent us you have, we have colonized this area. It is a direct representation of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. We want you to talk like us. Mm -hmm. We want you to act like us. We want you to look like us. So we've given you authority like us. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever happens on earth, you have authority over it. We have established that we are all leaders, haven't we? Yeah. We have established that we all have been given authority. God has given us power over who? Yes. God has given us power over the enemy. Yes. That's right. It says it. That's what the Bible says. And we don't have a hard time taking authority over good stuff, do we? We don't have a hard time taking authority over nice stuff, do we? Mm. We don't have, you know, a problem taking authority over pretty stuff and harmless stuff, do we? We'll take authority over that in a minute. Uh -huh. But we need to be reminded that we have authority over the bad stuff, yes. the yes. ugly stuff, yes. the negative stuff, yes. the big stuff, yes. the scary stuff. Yes. And I'm not saying God won't allow bad stuff, scary stuff, big stuff to come before us. But when it comes before us, name it. Amen. Ah, yes. 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 You have to call it what it is, uh -huh. but take authority over yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to call it by its name, but take authority over it. Come on. Hey. See, certain things have been allowed to stand before you. Yes. Certain things have been allowed to come and park right in front of you. Mm -hmm. For some, cancer. For some, diabetes. For some, high blood pressure. For some, autoimmune diseases. For some, divorce. For some, molestation, etc., etc., etc. Call it by its name, but understand you have a thought. Oh, yeah. 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 See, I can picture this huge elephant standing in front of Adam. And God said, Adam, I know you see its size, but remember, you have authority. Yeah, over it. Come on, yeah. come on now. It may be a fact that is huge, mm. yes. but it doesn't change the truth that I've given you authority yes. 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 over it. Yes. It might come before you as cancer. It might roll up on you as diabetes, but I call it healed. Yes. 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 Come on, come on. See, see, when all the immune disease tried to come into my life in 2010, and I'm going to say it again, I know y'all haven't heard it, but somebody need to hear it today. Yeah. When all the immune disease tried to come into my life, life in 2010, the doctors kept telling me, your liver won't be healed. It won't go back to its original state. We'll get you back maybe to a two, because healed would be zero. At that time, the disease in my body, they said, was at three and a half. Four is as high as you can go. So they said, you're almost at cirrhosis. But right now, it is it's fibrosis. But we'll try to get you back to a two. Mm. The devil is alive. Yes. <laughs> you might call it what you 
called it, yeah. but when it stands in front of me, yeah. I'm going to call it healing. Yeah. Yeah. So you go in God's word and you find what God says about it and you call it what God calls it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. And you stand on it until it manifests. Yeah. It took five years, mm-hmm. but it manifested. Yeah. Yeah. In 2015, I had my last biopsy and I went in there telling them this is my last one because it's healed. Yes. Whenever I came to, they said, Mrs. Moore, the disease that was in your liver is a zero. Yes. 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 Healed. So you call it. Yes. You name it. Mm-hmm. What are you going to call a name what's in your life today? Mm-hmm. Are you going to agree with the enemy? Are you going to agree with what it is? Because it might be a fact. We don't agree with the facts. We agree with the truth. Come on. Agree with the truth. Yes. What does the truth say? Mm-hmm. What does the truth say? Yeah, you go to your ATM and it say you got two cents. <laughs> <laughs> you might even have ten. I don't know. <laughs> but you speak God's word over it. God is my provider. Yes. Yes. I, I'm going to look at this, this receipt. Yeah, but God is my provider. Uh-huh. It says two cents, but I need some money tomorrow. God is my brother. I'm going to tell you something. I have seen God. Pastor did I'm married 32 years. I have seen God. We were down to our last dime. Didn't have nothing in the cupboard but a few cans of, of string beans. Y'all know everybody got string beans. <laughs> Didn't want no string beans, but if we had to eat them, we would have eaten them. But a can of string beans, I think it was a can of corn. Everybody got corn and string beans. Had a can of corn and a can of string beans. And we said, God, we trusted you to provide. Yeah. I'm just the very next day, yes. God had a check we didn't expect yes. in the mail. Yes. That's how our daddy rules, y'all. Yes. Yes, he does. That's how our daddy rules. Yes, he does. You have to trust him. All he wants us to do is trust him. Yes. Just trust him. Mm. So what will you call it today? Amen. Amen. All right. Think about what you've been putting a name on and ask yourself, do I need to change this name? What do I need to call it? In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.